Have you ever wondered how easy it might be to clear out an entire fueling village with just the Arbalest? No, right? You like your actual weapons. You like using magic. You like using edged weapons. This is stupid, right? Well, we're gonna give it a shot, and we're still using the mixed bag of armor pieces, and we're gonna leave all our weapons at home, except for our glorious crossbow, the Arbalest. Can you clear out entire fueling villages with nothing but the Arbalest? Let's find out. It started as you might expect, me kind of just silently taking out as many fuelings as I can. These fuelings were pretty oblivious until they realized the fuelings that they were talking to weren't actually responding because they were lying dead at their feet. So of course they didn't like that, so they came to attack me. But I have a giant crossbow and I think I'm pretty well equipped to handle these guys. Even though I'm gonna have to stay as squirrely as possible, but the good thing about the Arbalest is that it does kind of have a lot of kickback. It knocks enemies back and it also kind of knocks me back like this so let's see right there well I mean maybe not that much but it does knock me back <laughs> and I am still taking a few hits but honestly the mixed bag of armors that I'm still using it does a really good job at reducing the overall damage that I'm taking and I don't know I, I do like it I like the extra speed that I get with the Fenris leggings but I'm not really using it too much I'm kind of just I'm not even using the sprint it doesn't it's not necessary I can just kind of weave my way around these guys as their attacks come around. I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. And the crossbow does load a little bit slowly and it uses stamina, but I really would have been perfectly fine using less food for stamina. I could have used two health foods. I could have used just one serpent stew and I probably would have been fine here because I don't need to sprint. I just need to use a little stamina to load the crossbow. And yeah, I take some hits here and there, but the Arbalest does a good job against these guys and I'm I am very impressed with the damage it actually puts out against these guys obviously it's it's probably gonna kill every single one of them uh, one shot if they are not aware but if they're aware you can see right here this one star it's coming at me but it does take a, a bunch of hits it takes three hits to actually kill it but that guy was unaware he's down that one's unaware it's a fueling berserker so we're gonna slowly whittle him down as he slowly comes toward me but yeah fueling right there it was aware of me it is almost completely dead already this this weapon is very very powerful and if you can get used to the way that it loads you got to get used to how it has to kind of click and then look at this oh beautiful <laughs> i kind of just wanted a good shot right there but that didn't end up making the thumbnail oh okay i thought that was gonna kill it but okay we're okay we're fine <laughs> one more shot in the chest that berserker is down but yeah, this guy right here just oh, kind of shoots him right back, all the way back off this knoll. And let me see if I can hit him. Oh yeah, I, uh, the whole village right there got aggroed by probably a stray shot. And I just kind of went around. I, they didn't seem to notice that I was actually there. They were just investigating. So I'm on the opposite side of the village now and we're, we're doing the thing. It's uh, yeah, honestly pretty impressed at this weapon's ability to take these guys out without any effort whatsoever. <laughs> that one was just a one shot. And I'm just not really worried about taking damage because I know I can just move around these guys and that spear isn't going to do much to me at all because I'm pretty resistant to pierce. So yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through a few of these. That guy was unaware right here. He was unaware. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just absolutely dominating this village and it's impressive. I'm, I don't know what to say. This is great. So I get a little cocky and I run into the village, kill that guy right there. And I hear a shaman over here trying to get his shield up, but I mean, he manages to do that, but it's, it's just the end is nigh for him. It's coming. Come on. All right. Good old stabby with a big old bolt in the face and yeah, this village, I just, I, I have no fear at this point. I am taking hits every once in a while, but they're not doing much at all. And yeah, I try to block because maybe, okay, I know you can actually hold the Arbalest up and it does look like a block, but it doesn't actually block. But I wanted to test that out. I've never actually tried to block with the Arbalest. So I gave that a shot. It didn't work. And I think I tried again right here. Let's see if it works. Nope, it does not work as a blocking item. You cannot hold the weapon up and actually block an attack. But yeah, I get a little annoyed and I just start punching this guy in the face. I know, I said no weapons, but hey, it counts. <laughs> I break out the Arbalest again and I just finish this guy off. That's not a weird thing to say at all. But that village is cleared. I go up to this little hill right here and I look into my own eyes. What is this? Is this easy? Am I good? 
I don't know. <laughs> it definitely was much, much easier than I expected, but I don't know if I would actually call it easy. It's definitely something that takes a little bit of practice, just no weapons, it's, it's different. It is very, very different. You have to be moving a lot and you have to have decent armor so that if you take a hit, you're not gonna die immediately, but yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you just keep walking around, if you keep going around in circles like this, they're, they're not going to attack you. You load your Arbalest and then you shoot. It's, it's honestly very, very fun to do this. And I, I did not expect these results. That Deskito was just going to, straight to its death. <laughs> it was going to needle me in the face. No, I've got a different kind of needle for you. And that doesn't sound dirty at all. Okay, fueling right there. Another fueling two star right here. I decided this one was unaware, so I just took it out. And it was, it was the main threat right now. This guy with a little tiny knife, not a big threat. So he was the lesser priority at that point. But two fuelings right here, and they're kind of surrounding me, but I just, it's its no troubles. There's theres no, no problems going on in my mind. I'm just overall pretty overconfident in my abilities and this weapon's abilities, and I'm almost at the nicest number of health, but hey, this guy's actually doing some pretty good work to me because, again, I got a little overconfident, I got a little overeager, but the result is the same. We're still alive, we're okay. And yeah, so I take out a few more sentries on the outside of the perimeter. They are a Officially dead place and I just I went into the village because <laughs> I wanted to investigate the noises of fighting back there and yeah they were fighting some gray dwarfs in a little uh, half tiny little section of black forest over there but yeah I mean these guys they saw me uh, watching on to their little show over there kind of awkward but yeah it's just it's great <laughs> I needed a little chaos it was having it was becoming a little too easy for me so little chaos going on right now this berserker is just raging and then we got a one star we got a regular fueling over here that well i mean it's a former fueling now it's just it's just pure pure dead flesh but it's uh it's great a couple a couple stabs with carapace arrows and we're, we're good to go we're, we're doing good work to these guys and berserkers definitely they they're they're big and come on what are you doing death Skeeto? <laughs> they're big and heavy and they they don't really get knocked back at all by the arbalest um but it's okay forward roll we're out of the way <laughs> okay another death Skeeto. all right well, it's actually pretty okay. We don't really have to worry about the mosquitoes because we have the root harness gone. It is the root chest piece and it gives us a significant resistance to piercing damage, which is all that mosquitoes do. They they are really not any much of a problem right now. They're they're not even a nuisance. But with one more bolt, that fueling berserker is down and we can focus on this guy right here. I'm taking practically no damage with these guys. It's it's impressive. And I don't know. I think it's really satisfying to use a bow or the arbalest against death mosquitoes. You definitely feel like Robin Hood when you're able to peg them while they're moving laterally, and I don't do that here. I'm actually a really bad shot sometimes, but hey, it's okay. We can get them while they're coming right at me, and that's not a weird thing to say, but I was, of course, pretty overpowered right now. I was feeling overconfident, but it's it's okay. It's worth it. This is definitely a worthy weapon, and it deserves to feel powerful. It's good, but yeah, I was feeling, I was having a little too much fun right now. I wanted to get a 360 no-scope on this guy right here, and I mean, I'm a bad shot. I am not good at the 360 no scope. So, I mean, 180 right there. Okay, come on, come on. We can do this. We can do the 180. All right, well, we got to hit in there. Let's finish this guy off with just one more bolt. All right, good enough. That will count. And this guy right here was kind of in a little prison, I guess. It's underneath this little watchtower. I don't know. But he just... He just seemed like he had been there for a while and he just had given up on, on life. So, I mean... Now, he was putting up a little fight, but no, he was done. So I ended his misery. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> but that's uh, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else going on in this village. So I just danced on top of this little uh, hut right here. And I don't know. This, this was a fun experiment. The Arbalest only experiment was a resounding success. I did not expect this at all. I expected it to be a lot more difficult. Maybe I should try it again and get a whole lot more feelings to attack me, but this felt easy. I don't know what's going on here. If you had fun, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.